Hi, I'm Bill Abdullah and I'm part of Team BCM. Part of my team members are Caleb Peterson, Manuel Luca, and, and Salaki Oshoki. We're building We're building an emergency IoT system called emergency.cad. And we're building this because of the environmental, health, and climate impact it has on the quality of lives. Next, I'll be giving you a walkthrough of our solution. So these are the components we'll be using for, for the IoT device. Here we have the ESP32, a Wi-Fi module that will be sending data collected to the cloud. Um, next is the MC, MQ2 gas sensor and um, it measures several kinds of gases but specifically we're interested in the carbon monoxide or co2 rather um the next is the water level sensor which will give imprompt when the water is at a specific level during flooding um this is the data cable to connect our our esp to the to the adreno um, IDE. This is the, um, the, co the, the cord, the connection between the MC MQ2 and the ESP. This is the breadboard. Um, this is the Stacuity, um SIM card, programmable SIM card that we're using as our internet connection for internet connection. Um, we're also using the Radius API for calls to call in during um, emergencies. We're also using the Africa Stocking SSD for users that don't have access to internet as is prevalent in Africa. All right, this is going to be a quick demo of how the gas sensor would sense the smoke and then it will reflect on our website. So, our apologies, yeah, the, the data gets sent to cloud a bit late because of the free version we are using. So, once this gets detected, it will reflect here as unhealthy and then it will prompt a call here using the Redis's API, call API. So it gets sent, it gets sent a bit lit. So once it gets, it shows unhealthy. And then it's ringing the call. And so. This is a first call. The air quality within your province is poor. We advise to put on safety materials like nose mask before going out to prevent hazardous air in your system. 